Hello everybody, I'm here with another video and I'm going to do a makeup, let me check if it's, yep, it, okay, I just want to make sure that you guys are still there, okay, I just want to do like a get ready with me makeup and hair video into one and I'm going to do a video of me curling my hair, which I'm warming up the I um curling iron right here, so I'm just going to do the first kind of step with makeup first so we can take the shorter one first and then do the longer one second so it can save you guys a little bit more time hopefully. So let's get started. I'm just letting you know this is my first time not using a mirror so it will be kind of a challenge and no, not at the same time. Um, I, as like a, a powder or whatever, I, or like a, yeah, practically a powder or whatever, I just use um, a cover girl one. And I, my, I do like a medium light skin tone. Well, there's kind of a mirror in here, I believe. Oh, there it is. This is what it looks like inside. Oh my god. But, like this. And then you have this. So you'll... And it, whenever you have makeup on and have one of these wear it on your face. And if you have a little bit more in certain kind of locations in your face. Like a lot right here. Pretty dark here. And then like a dark here or whatever. You can grab um, a Kleenex or toilet paper or something that's not li like light and just we'll put it around your face and just gently take it off. So I normally start right here. This is what I normally do first, normally. And sometimes I, not very often, not as much as I did before in the past, I use like that like liquid stuff first and then, um, and then the powder. And if you guys, with this, with the clear concealer thing, I would recommend to like put some like where you have like a scab like I do right here on my forehead sometimes or a pimple or a zit or whatever on your face you can just dab like put some on and then just tap your face if you have this or if you have dark under your eyes you can put some under there and do the same thing and just rub it in which will be just fine you can do that and then with with related to blush, I just saw this. I don't really wear blush very often, so I'm just going to not do that. And I'm not really good at putting blush on, to be honest. But my biggest, I, I have no, like I have an older sister and I have a mom and like, and I've seen YouTube videos too. And I've observed that you'll do it just on the, on or just under your jawline or cheekbone, not jawline, but cheekbone, so that would, you know, help a lot in a way. And then I do another cover girl with these shades. And I, there's three colors or three different shades. I normally do the lightest to darkest. And if you have multiple different ones, more than three, then I would recommend the lightest and then the medium shade, and then the darkest. Then, with the one that I have, I'm just gonna grab the mirror here, just on the safe side. So, I would recommend start with the, the lightest one, or the white, and go on 
an eyelid, one of the two first, of course. The reason, if you guys noticed, that I blow on mine sometimes, it's because I don't want to put too much on it. And I do a little, just in case I ever have a little too much, some of it will go off. And I'll, I'll put as much as I can, but don't go up to it. Go on your eyebrow, but put as much as you can after you blow it. Put it on, like that. And then... And then I go on the next shade. For me, it's three. I go on the medium shade. Do practically the same thing. And kind of do like half of it, half the lid, instead of the whole one. That's what I normally do. You can do whatever you want, but... like that and do it the same of course with the other side and then you go on the darkest shade, or the last one you have. And with this part, I just do practically just a third of your eyelid. Like, like what I'm doing right now. And that's how I do my eyelids. And then with the mascara, I have two different kinds of mascara. And I really like this one a little bit more than this one. But they are both amazing and great. And this one right here I use on my top. And then right here it has a lower and an upper one, and I do this one for my lower one, lower, lower eyelashes. So, I can put that one away. I don't really, me personally, I don't really like mascara on me, but that's just me as a person, but I do here and there put some on.
And if something like this happened, like there's mascara under your eye, like it happened to me, I would just get a Kleenex, clean it, and roll with it. But because I don't have any Kleenex, Kleenex here at this moment, I can't clean it up. But hopefully you guys will be okay with that there for now but don't worry after this video I will fix it I would put some lick on a napkin napkin or whatever you have which will be napkin Kleenex um, toilet paper whatever like a little bit and clean it like that and my next step for you too for you guys is with the hair and I'm gonna curl my hair and my curling iron should be ready and I hope you guys enjoy that little part of get ready with me and with curling my hair I do little chunks like that much I grab it toward the end and all the way up wait a, like a few minutes or whatever and when curling your hair if you miss a chunk don't hesitate to go back on them when you're for the most part almost done or if you have someone at your house that you could have them to help and fix the extra ones that you can't get feel feel free to ask them for help, whether it's family or friends or whomever you're together with. Hopefully they're a roommate, so hopefully they wouldn't mind to help you. But if it's too back out there, you know, with, like, if you have layers, kind of like what I have, you can always do the short ones first, and then the long, longer side here too. I normally do just chunks by chunks so we can get more. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I do chunks to be easier to get curled, I guess you can say. And I hope you do like this kind of video. If you do, please like and please subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. And share with others if they're if you think they would be interested. And I'm going to do a little bit on this side. And when, once you're done with your whole hair, all of your hair up to be curled, then if you want it as much as you want to stay in as long as possible, if you have hairspray, I would recommend put some of the hairspray in your hair if you want it to be in for a long period of time. And depending on where, what size and where you're getting it, it might vary, but for the most part, it's under 10 bucks where you're gonna get it ten dollars or less so you can always have like a little amount that's like that size I guess that or is like three four something I think it's more like three seventy five or something the last time I remember it's sash checked so and plus like I said it might vary where you get it so you can get them at Target Walmart um, where else? Walgreens, if you have one. 
Um, I think some grocery stores, like if you have a Cub or a Super One, you can get it. I don't know if you have like an Aldi's. I don't know if they have any or not, because I think they change frequently with what they have. I think. So, if you see one, you should grab one wherever you find them. So, I think I already did that one. And if you think you already curled one like I did just now, just like, oh, I don't know, feel free to like re curl it just on the safe side too. That's what I would recommend. Don't hesitate to do some over again. And I would also recommend, if you haven't already, I would um, brush your hair before curling would be a good idea, too. And feel free to comment below of what's your thoughts on like, curls, if you want me to do in a different way, or anything like that. And plus, you if you get a curling iron or rollers kind of thing, this could be a cheap way to get your hair done, too, instead of like getting your hair done at like a salon and spending like 30 plus dollars to get your hair done when you could easily do it at home for roughly the same amount of time too you know you don't have to always do it for yourself like I said if you have someone living with you you can all ask them if they're willing to do your hair or you know f for you to the chunks that you can't get so and for me the back ones back of my head is kind of difficult in my opinion so don't hesitate to ask others but you can also do it to, for yourself but I wouldn't if it's too difficult and you get frustrated ask someone if you are not patient enough to do it I would for sure ask someone to help you out so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please like, please subscribe, and let me know if you want to see more later down in the road of any sort. So, if you pl please like, please subscribe, and hopefully you guys will see more if you guys enjoy this kind of video. So, yeah, see you next time. Bye.